their world. The name of the show, Spellbinders, pilot number two, VTR 81678, the air date to be announced. Break a leg. Here we go. Okay, everybody, stand by now. It's time to spell out the answers on Spellbinders. And here is the star of Spellbinders, Bill Anderson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ah, mercy. Oh, thank you. What a lively group. My goodness. Thank you so much, everybody. And may I say hello and welcome to Spellbinders, the game where you spell out the answers and every letter counts. And we're going to have a good time today because here to play Spellbinders are our celebrity Spellbinders, Deborah Lee Scott and Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> Nice to see you. You're looking great. Go okay. you. That's fantastic. Feeling great. I hear you just got back from Hawaii. Yes, oh. I did a film there called Maui. When you're working it's at a wonderful. place like Hawaii, do you get to play any, or is it all? Oh, I got to play quite a lot. <laughs> what, you know what I mean? I don't want to go any further. That's it. That's all I'm. I'm confessing to. But you but weren't I, playing spellbinders. And, and you notice I don't have a tan. So <laughs> there we go. Okay. Indoor sports, it yes. sounds like to me, doesn't it, too? <laughs> yeah, but what, I mean, what would they call a picture made in Hawaii? Maui, right? <laughs> right. I mean, not Toledo. I mean, actually. <laughs> you you been anywhere interesting? Or I was in Texas. Like... I got a stiff neck there. <laughs> riding horses? Or... Riding what? Horses? <laughs> Moi? No. <laughs> You know, I, I did a special with the 20, uh, 36 yeah. uh, 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 Dallas Cowgirls, and they're all like 17 and 18. So so. I have a stiff neck. <laughs> Can we just play the game? Let's move right along. <laughs> Who has come to be your playing partner? <laughs> well, I have a Jay Brooks from Northridge. And I have Sherry Cloutier from Hollywood. <laughs> Jay, Jay, nice to have you with us. Welcome to Spellbinders. Good luck to both teams. Is it Sherry or Sherry? Sherry. Just Sherry. Just plain old Just Sherry. plain old Sherry. Yep. <laughs> don't look like no plain old Sherry to me. I don't know. <laughs> you know how we play the game? We start off with the Spellbinders Free For All, where I give you a clue and I begin to spell out some answers for you. Could be a word, a name, or a phrase. The first one of you to come up with what I'm spelling earns one point for his team. The first team to earn three points wins $50 and a chance to play Spellbinders on your own. Are you ready? ready? Here is the first clue. Keeps things hidden. And the first letter is F. Sherry. Bullage. No, that's a pretty good answer, but that's not what we're looking for. Jay, it goes over to you. Keeps things hidden. F-I. File cabinet. Not what we're looking for either. Sherry, back to you. Keeps things hidden. F-I-G. Fig leaf. A fig leaf. Yeah. You got it. You got a point. <laughs> what does it keep hidden? What does a fig leaf keep hidden? Small things. Oh. Uh, Did you know that Sherry, Sherry, or Sherry, or she, that she's a Playboy bunny? Isn't that wonderful? Are you really? Yes. I never saw one in person. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just a playboy? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next clue makes you stand. The letter is S. S T. S T A. Sherry. What about a standing ovation? That's not what we're looking for. Jay, it goes to you, and it'll volley back and forth between the two of you until one of you gets it. Why am I saying? Makes you stand. <laughs> oh. S T A R. Stardom. Nope, that's not what we're looking for either. Sherry. I know. S T A R S. Makes you stand, J. S T A R S P. Sherry, back to you. S T A R S P A. Star space size. Uh, makes you stand. I think. I know. <laughs> well, I'm done. I know. 
Keep it and to I yourself. And I can't say anything. J S T A R S P A N. Oh! I we got to go back to Sherry, and I think How? she's just had an inspiration. S T A R S P A N G. Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner makes them stand. It's two to nothing, gang. Okay, we'll come back. You got two. Yeah. <laughs> A profitable crop. The first letter is M. M A. M A R. Charles. Marijuana. You got it. You got three points and you got the free for all in the shutout. Yeah. <laughs> Wildly history. Oh, just this <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Charles and Sherry have got three points. They temporarily shut out Deborah Lee and Jay, and it's on to more money with the part of the game where one of you will come up with the answers and spell them out for the other one. Which one of you wants to come up with the answers? Whatever you'd like to do. I'll go back. Okay, fine. All right, she's gonna go to our isolation booth off stage. And since they won't allow either one of us to go with her, I well, guess we'll stay out here. She said she would write. <laughs> <laughs> While she's gone, I need you to give me three good answers to this question. <laughs> Name things you lick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're not, no, that's it, right? That's I just it. go right now. All that's right. It. A stamp, a stamp, stamp, a lollipop. Yeah, good answer. Boring, but it keeps the game going. <laughs> stamp, lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Yeah, we don't have all day. Uh, another exciting answer, ice cream cone. Ice cream cone, yeah. okay. A stamp, a lollipop, an ice cream cone. Let's bring Sherry back, see what a good imagination she has in coming up with the same answer. Sherry, while you were gone and couldn't hear, I asked Charles a question. He gave me three good answers to that question. Well, mediocre answers yeah, to that question. Medicine. They're up on the board now. And we need you to try to come up with the same three answers he did. Now, he's got five letters that he can give you one at a time to try to get you to come up with the same answers he did. For every answer you get right, we'll give you $50, okay? Which word do you want to play first? We'll go in the order they are. All right, word number one goes first. The question was, name things you lick. Give her the first letter. <laughs> S. Sucker. You do, but that's not what we're looking for. You're going to have to give her the second letter. S T. Stamp. A stamp. You got it. Fifty bucks. <laughs> All right. Two words remain. You've got three letters left to work with. You say we're going right in order. Yo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Word number two is next. Name things you lick. First letter. First letter L. <laughs> got to go to the second letter. L O. Oh, you're down to your last letter. Now, oh. Jay, you and Deborah Lee are suddenly back in the game because at this point, if you don't think she can come up with this word with the one remaining letter, you can challenge. If you win the challenge, if she doesn't get it, you get $100. However, if she does get it, they get 100 instead of 50. Do you want to challenge? What do you think? Right, let's challenge. All right. You we'll want to challenge. challenge. You don't yeah, think we'll she's going to get it? Okay. <laughs> They've got a lot of confidence in Jerry. <laughs> okay, name she things. She is going to get it. All right. Things wow. you lick, give her the last letter. L. I gave her two, right? Yeah. L O L. <laughs> lollipop. A lollipop. You got it. You won $100. <laughs> oh, well. Congratulations. You are now up to $200. Jay and Deborah Lee are still shut up. Let's look at the other word that was left over there on the bottom because there was one we didn't get to, and it's gone away. What was the ice, ice cream? Ice cream was the other letter. Okay, that's the end of round one. We'll be back to play round two on Spellbinders right after you watch the H I S.
hundred dollars to Charles and Sherry. So zip. Deborah Lee and Jay have been asleep. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna wake up now and we're gonna catch up. All right. Well, the object of this ahead. game yeah. is to get to five hundred dollars. As you know, the first team mm -hmm. to get there wins the game and a chance to play Lucky Seven for five thousand dollars. We're in round two. The stakes are doubled. That means this is worth one hundred dollars. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. No fun to take out. The letter is G. Charles. It's a chance. Grandmother. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> Bad oh, chance. No. Letters no will fun. come in. All right, yeah, really. Now's your chance because yes. it's going to go between you and yeah. Charles until one of you okay. get it. No fun to take out. G A. Um, a gangster. Wouldn't be much worse fun. than grandmother. <laughs> Back to Charles. Take no, no fun to take out. G A G A R. A garden tool that's embedded in your spleen. <laughs> How do I know? I know. <laughs> that was smart. Taking yeah. it out. Oh. <laughs> Don't, go ahead. Over to Maui. Here we go. Yeah. No fun to take out. G A R B. <laughs> Garbage. You're finally on the board. Yes. yes. Okay. Now that's just the jumping off place. Could be incriminating evidence. L. Jerry. Lipstick. Lipstick. You got it. You won. <laughs> We gotta get up this yeah. lunch, eh? I wonder how a Playboy bunny, I wonder if she has extra uh, in insight into things like sure. that. Sure. Huh? Okay. Look how quick she got fig leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Next clue. Oh, gosh. Works in a supermarket. The first letter is M. M R. Charles. In keeping with answers like grandmother, <laughs> Mr. Clean. In keeping with results like grandmother, it goes over to Deborah Lee. Works in a supermarket, MRW. Um. Back to Charles, MRWH. Oh, Mr. Whitby, Whitty, Whitby, Whitman, Stone Whipple, Whipple. Mr. Whipple, you got it? Don't squeeze the well known. Two to one. First answer. Moving right along. Very big many years ago. D. D I. D I N. I. Very big many years ago. D I N O. Sherry. A dinosaur? A yes. dinosaur. You got it. That's your third point. And you've done it again. You have now won round two of our free-for-all. You're up to $300. We go again where one of you makes up the answers for the other one. Who wants to make them? I'll go out this time. Okay. All right, Sherry stays here. Like <laughs> yes, and I'll stay here and talk to the Playboy Bunny. Can I get a key? Sure. Get one to the club, too? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> while you're gone, while he's gone, I need three good answers to this next question. I need you to name something you eat with spaghetti. Mm, okay. Uh, meat sauce. Meat sauce, uh huh. Uh, bread. Bread. And wine. And wine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't eat wine, but I think oh, that'll yeah. work. Okay, meat okay, sauce, wine. bread, and wine. Let's see how well Charles can do with those. Bring him back out of isolation. <laughs> <laughs> you have a touch. All right, Sherry gave me three good answers to a question. They're up on the board. She's got five letters to use to get you to come up with the same ones. This time, they're worth $100 a piece, so you conceivably could win the game here. Which word do you want to play first, Sherry? Let's go in order. All right, we'll play word number one first. Oh. The question was to name something you eat with spaghetti. First letter. M. A meatball. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All that acting. <laughs> We've got to go to the second letter. Something you eat with spaghetti. M-E. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go to the third letter, and there are only... It's A. I'm maybe. killing myself. <laughs> oh, 
The third uh, letter. Bye bye. M E A. Spaghetti and me. Oh no, Delvin. <laughs> we have got to go to the fourth letter. Something you eat with spaghetti. M E A T. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti and meat sauce. Meat sauce, you got it. Oh. Just barely, but you got it. You're up to four hundred dollars now. You're down to only one word because you've only got one letter left. Which one do you want to play, Sherry? Number two. You're going to play number two. All right. Now there's only one letter left, Jay. You and Deborah Lee can challenge. The challenge is worth two hundred dollars. Do you want to challenge? No. No. <laughs> You sure? Go for it. No. No. You're going to play safe? Yeah. All right. The last letter, we're looking for something you eat with spaghetti. B. Bread. Bread. You got it. You win $100. And Jerry and Charles win the game. Congratulations. Come back and fish your Playboy bunny. <laughs> Oh, Jay, I'm sorry. You didn't win a thing. No. You're, you're a good a sport and a lot of fun, and thank you for playing Spellbinders. And get your kiss. And get your kiss for Deborah Lee Scott. All right. Right now, let's the three of us go down here and get ready to play Lucky 7 for $5,000 big dollars right after these messages. Stay with us. I'm here with Edward Lee Scott and Charles Nelson Riley and a nice studio audience full of people. <laughs> Sherry is off in our isolation area when she cannot hear what's going on. And what we're going to do while she is there is I'm going to ask a question. I need seven responses to this question. I want one from you, one from you, and I want five from you. And this gives you a chance to win some money, too, here in our studio audience. The question is, name a card game. And Charles, you give us the first answer because Sherry is your partner. Polka, 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 poker. Poker. <laughs> okay. We've Any got... one of those three will be poker. <laughs> we better poker. spell it poker right there. Poker. All right. Give us one, Beverly. Um, uh, gin rummy. Gin rummy. Yeah. Okay. We've got two. All right. Now, if you know a card game, raise your hand. Now, let me tell you, before, before you call, let me oh. caution you that if they give an answer, that you want to reject, you can, but you've only got five seconds between you and Deborah Lee to come up with an answer on your own. Okay. In case they give you a real turkey. The gentleman with the mustache in the middle, with the blue with the white trim. Yes, sir. What's with your name? With his own hair and a good Jerry watch. Jerry Larson. Hi. Right. What's your answer, Jerry? Solitaire. Sad, but we'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Solitaire. Deborah Lee. Okay, the lady over there on the right in the red, white, and blue. Uh, yes, ma'am. What's, what's your name? Terry Parr. Terry, Wish. what's your Wish? Yes. Huh. So what do you think? What is it? Whist. Whist. Uh, not too good. Not too good. Uh, I'm going to turn it down. How about, we have to think of go, one. Go ahead. Wait, what? Pinochle? Um, Pinochle. 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 All right. We've got Pinochle up on the board. Okay, the girl with the glasses. Wait, 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 wait a minute. We've got a girl over here that doesn't know how to spell. P-I-N-O-C-H-L-E. Oh, I knew there'd be a... Okay, that's the way we're going to spell it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The lady uh, is toward the back with the blue stripe and with the over with the blue sweater above with the glasses on her head with the blonde hair <laughs> and the white pants. What's your name, honey? And what's your answer? Hearts. Hearts. Good. I like that. We'll take it. We'll take hearts. All right, you remain standing. Never okay, the, the black gentleman right here with the glasses and the white shirt with the red and the yellow and the thing. And Bruce Taylor. Hi, Bruce. And another good watch. Bridge. Bridge. Oh, oh I like that. Yes, I okay. know. He was an intelligent man. All right. That gives us six. We need one more. Charles. Okay. The gentleman with the with the big wave in the back. With the that's right. You. That's sorry. That's blackjack. Blackjack. Okay. We'll take it. Blackjack. blackjack. All right. We've got it. Good. We didn't get your name. Paul Roshler. Paul. All right. Okay, thank, thank you very you much. Paul. Let's thank recap our seven answers. There. We've got poker, gin rummy, solitaire, pinochle, hearts, bridge, blackjack. Let's clear the board and bring Sherry back and see how well she can and do I'll for five thousand dollars. All right, Sherry. While you were gone, I asked Charles and Deborah Lee and the people in our studio audience to give me seven responses to a question. Now, those seven answers are programmed into the big board right there in front of you. 
you're going to have 60 seconds on the clock to try to come up with the same seven responses they did. You get them all, and you win $5,000. And the four people in our studio audience who helped us out, they've got something at stake, too. They're going to divide $500 if you get them all. Okay. All right, now you notice the first letter of the first word is revealed to you. Now, we will reveal other letters to you one at a time. All you've got to do is call for them. However, whenever we reveal an additional letter to you, it's going to cost you a couple of seconds. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I don't want you to start until I say go. We need to have 60 seconds on the clock, please. The first letter of the first word, very obviously, is a P. The question was to name a card game. Ready? Go. Poker. Yes, that's right. The next word starts with a G. Uh, letter. Letter. Gin, Remy. Yes, that's right. The next word starts with an S. Letter. 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 Solitaire. Yes, the next word starts with a P. Uh, pinochle. Yes, that's right. The next word starts with an H. Letter. Let letter. 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 That's all the letters we can give you. You got to take a guess. He hero, here's. Uh, uh, go to the next word. You can come word, back. Pass. The next word starts with a B. Uh, the letter. 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 Bridge. Yes, that's right. The last word starts with a B. Letter. Letter. Letter blackjack. Yes, go back to the word you missed. Uh, Take a guess. Uh, her heard. Um, heard. <laughs> Here, who? Oh, you came so close. The word we were looking for was hearts. The oh. game of hearts. Oh, Sherry, yeah. you came so close. You broke Sorry. my heart. You did get six of them, though. <laughs> we'll pay you $100 for the six that you did get. Add that to the 500 you've already won. You've got $1,100. You're still the champion. We'll be back to play with Deborah Lee on the next game. And next time we play Lucky like 7, it'll be worth $6,000. All right? Come on in, Charles. You and Deborah Lee. We'll say goodbye to everybody. We'll see you next time on Spellbinders. So long, folks. This is Gene Wood speaking for Spellbinders. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.